Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven where home plus art equals heart. In today's live video broadcast, it is coffee with my pal Calera. <laughs> we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing so, well she's not drinking coffee either, but anyway, we're gonna be doing um kind of a <clears throat> um expansion sort of of continuation what we dot 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a continuation for a few weeks because there's a lot of things that you can do on tumblers or vases and, and and we're having fun with it. And it does have to do with fluid art because we are using resin, we're using alcohol inks, we're using just different fluid type things. And also I've, I, I have an idea to bring in some more ac acrylic pouring stuff. So stay tuned for that. So I think if you want to learn about, you know, taking what you know and applying it to other uh, substrates, stick That's around. That's what we're doing. Mornings. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. So, all right, let me say, okay, let me say one thing really quick. Um, with the new studio setup, which is not 100%, I'm about 80%. I'm about 80%. Um, but with the new studio setup, my monitor is literally five feet away from me so <laughs> i need to have <laughs> i need to have binoculars to see the chat <laughs> so so should i bring the chat closer to me <laughs> well yeah I, um at least i won't have sticky fingers I, I, what i'm gonna do, see that's why i said uh, it's an, it's it's 80 percent because there's a few things that i need to purchase um in order to do a few things like i want to bring a monitor that will be like right here for me but i need to like get a like uh what are they called Stand. you know how they have the tv they have the tv wall mounts well i need to get a mount that'll hang from the ceiling oh, and, okay. um, so i need to get one of those and i i haven't even looked i don't even know how much it's gonna be but um the one with the funky arms and have, stuff that way I can have a monitor here in front of me. And I found my wireless mouse, so I can actually run the show from here because I can barely see my mouse, but I can see it and I can see how it reacts to things. So um, I do know that Cheryl is here because Cheryl is bright in bright green. So good morning, Cheryl. Oh, and, and Lynn is here as well. Good morning, Lynn. Hello, everybody. Uh, Good morning. I see Brenda is here from Creations by Baby Doll, and Sue is here, and Doris is here. I can't see what you're saying, but I, you know what's funny is I know your icons. <laughs> <laughs> I see Evelyn as well. So good morning. If I missed you, I apologize right now because um, <clears throat> StreamYard is weird, and it sends batches of chat. It's really weird. And that's why Michael gets frustrated sometimes because he'll get like 20 messages all at once. And then he has to like scroll through them really fast and find out where he was at last time and, and all that. So yeah, we're going to be working on a kind of uh, peekaboo tumbler. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to do that on this. I, because of the, the studio change, I didn't get a chance to put resin on it. In fact, just this morning, if you Bad remember girl. from last week, my, <laughs> my, 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 my arm was all messed up and janky. Mm -hmm. Well, I fixed it this morning. Like I've been up since about six 30. I slept in this morning. Um, and I came out here and I was twiddling with things and, fiddling with things, getting things cut on my silhouette and all that. And I'm like, oh, I need to fix that arm. And what I did, for those of you who want to know, is I just made the hole bigger so I could move this piece, this piece back from the motor. Because what I think was happening is the tip, the top of this pole was hitting the motor. And that's what's caught was causing it to be all janky. So I made wait, the hole. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did you say motor? Yes, motor. Okay, I, I heard a slight accent there. I was giving you a hard time. Oh, motor. Yeah, my 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 long oars from Minnesota. Yep, <laughs> that, yeah. that would be the one. <laughs> it's like boat. <laughs> boat. I, 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 always, I always say boat, <laughs> and I can't stop. It's just it just that's the way it comes out. But yep. um, so that way I could slide it down a little bit, and then I 
put some washers on it so I could really tighten it down. And other than when it initially starts, um, it's it's running smoothly again. And so I'm going to shut that off. But um, so I made it so I can just, these are just uh, male and female threaded pipes. I got, I got the threaded pieces and that's the, the female piece. And so I have this wand and now I can take this wand and put it on the drying rack or I can, you know, what I do whatever I want to do. And this is what I did last night on Art of Palooza's. I made this and then I cut this little, this little pattern out. I made kind of a lacy pattern thing. Um, this is just black vinyl that I had laying around. So, um, because when I bought my silhouette, I bought a bunch of vinyl, too, because they had it. Oh, but and then I got a bunch of free vinyl, too, with it. And it was just like, oh, OK. So I, I haven't used my silhouette really in like two years. <laughs> but I, 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 I cheated. I purchased my my vinyl off of Etsy. So. <laughs> well, 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 you don't have a silhouette, so it's not really cheating. You just yep. did what, worked with what you had and you don't have a silhouette. So I you don't have a silhouette. You go to someone who does. So, okay. Um, so I'm going to be working on this one today. And then I will work on this one this weekend and um, oh. get the <laughs> other uh, coat of resin on it. And then I'm going I, I to do some dragon scales on it. So um, okay. it does a dragon scale peekaboo thing. And then because I got the little unicorns. Um on there at the bottom so i'm gonna have that be like a peekaboo area too i don't know we'll figure it out but so that i clear coated last night i'm gonna finish weeding this so where did you get your vinyl from on etsy do you have a a, a, a source uh considering the fact i went in down the rabbit hole of looking at vinyls <laughs> and stuff like that i couldn't even <laughs> begin to tell you you know yeah i get that i so get that Okay. so yeah i get that i do that's like me and the glitter store <laughs> and, <laughs> and and uh the rhinestone world the rhinestone world is my source for stuff and they are a little bit more expensive than other ones um than other places now i'm, here, I'm hearing a butt come what i'm hearing a butt come but yes exactly um but they, their customer service is amazing. Um, Matt, the owner, goes on, goes live on YouTube like four times a week, teaching you how to use this new product and teaches you how to do things. And it's not just on like the big graph techs or roll-in cutters and stuff. He teaches you how to do stuff on your circuit, on your silhouette, using the Easy Press, using a crafting press. I mean, he shows you everything. And he's just a great human being and he's a cancer survivor and he used to be a, a physical education teacher um, and his wife is a teacher and they started a business out of their garage and with a janky brother, you know, not the scan and print, but like way before the scan and print was even existing. And they started doing decals and they started and they would do fundraisers and they would and pretty soon they were making enough money where he, you know, they were getting enough business where he could quit his job and they just they built it up and now they are, you know, and he learned the hard way, you know, and he's like, I want to make this easy for you. And I get why he does it, because if we're successful, then we have more money money to buy stuff from him. And it, it makes sense, you know, supply and demand. If there's no demand, he can't supply it, you know? Yep. Yep. But he's got stuff on that, on that, on that site that no one else has that I have seen. So yeah. I'll check it out. It's just, I, I, I love Matt. He's awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this is my little, I put a little edge border and this is my plan. Okay. Now tell me if, if you think this will be cool or if this will be crazy stupid. Um, so Can I'm going to put, this, I have, I have one to go at the bottom and I have one to go at the top. So it's going to give me the peekaboo of the wood. And then I'm going to go over it with this 
stick and restick stuff, which is like the tack it over and over. It's just, I don't mm -hmm. know what is really different. It, it, the description is exactly the same. It says repositional temporary adhesive. So I, I just wanted to put, but I've got this blue holographic glitter, which I thought would go really good with this wood grain. Yeah. And I'm going to do the holographic glitter over the top, and then I'm going to take the black vinyl off so that way um, the wood grain will show through the little lacy bit. That sounds pretty. Okay. That I just, I, I, <laughs> I was thinking last night as I was going to bed, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? Okay. So um, I'm going to try, I'm going to use my, some of my uh, cake decorating skills here. And I'm going to see if it'll work the way I think it will. I got a hic hiccup when applying my vinyl. I just jump at things sometimes. And uh, I'm trying to pull up some of the little skinny threads and uh, relay them down a little nicer. <laughs> it was a major wrinkle. Yeah, the... But it, that's that's why I don't like working with vinyls. Is I'm I'm I, I want to hurry. I'm always in a hurry, and putting straight vinyl on a on a curved surface is is tricky. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this over here so you can kind of see how I'm doing this. There we go. That's laying a little smoother. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna do one with a spray paint background and then the other one I'm going to try and do alcohol ink. I don't know if it's going to work, but we are going to try. You know what? Hang on a second. I'm going to um, go grab my phone so I can bring up chat and have it because my phone is on a different network. So um, I'm going to try and bring up chat on my phone so I can see if there's any questions or anything because I can't see anything. <laughs> Well, Are you all about your lonesome? Well, yeah, Michael's working, so, you know. Hang on one second. I'm going to go grab my phone. Okie dokie. I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier because, you know. I, I can look over and see the chat. So, hi, Doris and Cheryl and Lynn and okay. Jeff, uh, Brenda. We will Let's see who else is in here. Uh, Evelyn, hello. I'm not working with resin, so I should be safe. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sue. What? See, look, I'm on a live, Sue, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her give me grief <laughs> last night. <laughs> I have to pick on her. Let's see. Uh, I think I mentioned Lynn before. Hi, Lynn. Let's see. Who else am I missing? Ah, I think I got everybody. Uh-oh. I stopped here in town. She must have gone in the other room. Hopefully she didn't oh, I'm here. Yet. Oh, you hear that? No, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we oh, have, yeah. yeah, we haven't done peekaboo before, or at least I haven't. Um, I've never done one. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so I mean, so other than watching, other than watching a cubic butt ton of videos. <laughs> yeah, there is that. Okay. So I'm not worried about it laying flat in the middle just as long as it lays flat on the edges where it's going to come in contact with the paint in other words right at that seam there you know if it's got yeah. a ridge here i'm okay with it but and this one doesn't seem to be affecting the line meaning the the drawn line of the yeah i could talk and think at the same time mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. not no. happening <laughs> All right, let's try it this way. Move this away further. I'll just burst that area down and that one. And that will work. God bless it. Freaking freaking. I'm glad this is a rep repositional vinyl. This one is like, um, I'm, I'm going to stick on here like um, cement. And uh, yeah, good luck with that. Okay. So it's going to be fun to come up and pull back up. I have a feeling. Okay. Yeah, I have the I have the three sixty or six thirty one, and I have the other stuff that's not repositionable. Oh. But. Okay. 
just having issues. Okay, let's just go like this. Okay, that it is clear. That is clear. And that will do. Okay. Uh, I do out. one. I'll get it on there. <laughs> and then I'll oh. go back and burnish it really well. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. I should probably put a towel down. Uh, I want to get all scratched up. I picked up my cup and I'm like, where'd the red come from on the cup? I don't understand. And I'm working on a parchment paper that has red alcohol ink on it. It's like, mm, oh. Time to put a fresh one down. <laughs> yeah. And Dora says, or she, she says, I recommend using Oracle 631 for vinyl on these. For uh, if you're going to remove the vinyl, yes. If you're not, then use the 651. Or, you know, permanent vinyl because you want to have good adhesion and this is kind of pissing me off right now okay so the removable one is or the permanent the, the this is i'm using removable and it's it's kind of cold in here so it's kind of janky Henri. Henri. all right i'm gonna here we go all right, so let's try and do this a little bit slower this time. There we go. Now I'm getting it. Okay. Well, maybe. Am I asking for trouble? Yep, probably. We're always asking for trouble. Oh, yes. I excel at it. Trouble is our middle name. Okay, I think that'll do. Okay, so I don't care if there are wrinkles at the top. I just don't want the holes to have wrinkles. All right, I'm just gonna lay this down. I'm going to do this one before I do the other one because the other one's a lot more detailed than this one is. So it's like. So hey. yeah, you practice one. Hmm. I just thought of something that's going to overlay. That's a problem. All right. So. Okay, we're definitely concentrating because neither one of us is talking. This is good I video. <laughs> yeah, we're really engaging. <laughs> well, okay. So this Wrestle is, just, with the vinyl. I'm gonna, I am just going to go with this. It's not what I wanted, but I'm just All gonna right. go. We're going to tap into our frisket days. And just go, you expose a little bit of the line and just start, I don't know if you can see, see what I'm doing here. Just start peeling it off slowly but surely and go up and down. And I still got a wrinkle. Oh well, cred. Now, I got many wrinkles, and I, I and, and on my cup and otherwise. How do they do this for the vinyls you want to keep down? There's a trick to it, and once you, I think once you practice enough, you'll get it. It's just yeah. getting to that point. I've got probably just as much wrinkles as I had the first time, <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to be careful. To get started. Okay. So what I'm focusing on is the curves to make sure my curves are laid in nicely. Um, if the wrinkle is mid shape, I'm not that worried about it. Right. That's kind of where I am at too. I just want to have the bottom edge as wrinkle free as possible. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I need to make sure that trying to like stretch it too but you know what i'm gonna do 
Screw this business. Here we go. Oh, shoot. I just lift it. Let. Okay. It, it heard See? you say screw look. it. Look. Look. What, 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 what? Look what happened. What happened? What happened? Let me get up. Look. Oh, no. It lifted all the paint up. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I'm not happy right now. Mm. Okay. I'm going to wind for you. Well. <laughs> okay, so is this going to be an adult uh, video? <laughs> well, Answer. tons of ditches. Okay, so that's that, and there you go. So before I even put this down, I burnished the crud out of it on the transfer paper just to make sure that I was going to be good. Yeah. And that seemed to work out pretty well. Oh, yeah. That line got janky. So, see, the wrinkles within that aren't going to be too bad because the curve is nice. There, I'm getting them in nice and tight. But you can see the line here is real skinny in it, so it got a little janky right there. Yeah. So I'm going to pick that up and lay that down carefully, kind of like what I did with the other one. But this one here I can push down with my nail just to make sure this line is smooth and that line is smooth. I'm not leaving the vinyl, so I'll be peeling the vinyl up. I just had a good idea on how to fix that. I'm not yeah. going to do one at the top. I'm just going to glitter right the flap over it. <laughs> Okay, so here's my other little trick that I'm going to try. Normally, I wouldn't do this on a cake but or something like that, but for sewing, to do like a gusset type thing. So, just, we're just going to, you know, do a redesign on the fly. <laughs> yes, time for plan B. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're at, I think we're on C and D right now. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say I think I'm on Plan M because <laughs> there's only so many hours in the day, and I still, you know, that's the thing is I kind of lapsed on like laundry and dishes and stuff. I've been still been cooking meals, but Michael has been really really awesome, and we've gone out to dinner a couple of times, so I didn't have to cook, and you know, we've gone and grabbed some Mexican from the local Mexican restaurant. And then we went to Freddy's because Freddy's is my favorite because they have malts and they have butterscotch. And so we have butter. I get to have a butterscotch malt and it makes me happy. So, um, yeah. So anywho, I have an idea and hopefully it'll work. So we got, so, we got two tips in the chat. I happen to notice Evelyn says the dry hinge method uh, use tape to hold one side of the decal in place while you remove the backing on the other side. Uh, yeah, that's apply, smart. That's smart. And then uh, uh, apply the decal to the surface. Uh, Brenda says, did you clear coat uh, spray paint over the alcohol links? It gives a better barrier yeah. to not yeah. pay, peel up. Okay. I, I clear coated it last night. Um what I think it is is this is a this is just a plastic cup from Walmart, so this probably wouldn't happen to y'all. And oh. I did I did sand it lightly and then primed it, but it I must not have sanded it enough, and it, it's just my own damn fault. So, and it's okay. I it, this is I bought these cups to be practice cups. If they turn out janky, it's okay. They still hold water and they still hold pens, and they, yeah, <laughs> they'll still work. So. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just coming through and I'm just cutting little tidbits here to help me go around the curve. Kind of like a, a, a dart or something. I don't remember what it's called in sewing. It's been a long time since I've sewn anything. But there's a technical term for it and I don't remember what it's called. So that's what I'm doing now. And we're just going to put this at the bottom. <laughs> I'm just throwing the blooming cup around because I'm like, oh yeah, dude. Well, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show you his boss here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna lay this down like a so. 
It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> yeah, do this, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Okay, so lesson learned. Don't lift and pull and lift and pull. Just lay it down and hope for the best. <sighs> okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got a lot of little swirly whirly get it get ups in it. I'm I'm nervous now. <laughs> uh oh. Uh huh. Don't be nervous. Just have uh -huh. fun. Uh-huh. Okay. This time, I'm not going to worry about going around. I'm just going to go for it. Because Kyrie went around before. Okay, so this little <sighs> gusset thing is actually helping. Kind of. I just noticed kind of off camera there. So I'm doing a cup for me. Yeah, Brenda Brenda says I also do a thick layer of epoxy on the base for pizza blues for the vinyl to be on. Yeah, I have time. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> She's winging it. <laughs> I like ran out here about 12 o'clock yesterday. It's like, I kind of put something on it. <laughs> well, that's, that's, you know, I just, I, I've been, I have literally been cleaning since last a week, cleaning, mm. packing, moving, reorganizing. I built my computer and then rebuilt it because we put it underneath the desk instead of on top of the desk that helped with Michael's microphone. Um, this Yesterday, one looks pretty. If I had left the just the vinyl on, that actually is a good contrast. Can you see? Yeah, that's no, that's pretty. That's awesome. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna, and you can't make me. Nee, 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 nee. No, sorry. Um. <laughs> okay, so this we're gonna do. Right. Let's see if I can stretch this a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I'm grateful Brenda's here because Brenda's my, like, <laughs> when it comes to certain things, it's like, okay, Brenda, how do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> but now you can't read the chat, so you can't get her. Wisdom. Oh, no, that's why, I, that's why I, that's why I brought my phone over here. It's like, okay. Oh, okay. You can here. see it now. Okay, good. Not, not that I don't want to talk to anybody else. I'm just. Well, then like, share the wisdom. <laughs> Brenda's. Brenda is well. No, it's just I. I watch some of her videos. I watch. I rewatch on on Art of Palooza when she comes on. It's like, oh, that's how you do that. And I just is like, okay, so yeah, that and I've been watching a lot of Mr. Nola's Glitter, and uh, I can't think of the other lady that I've been watching. It's like Sandy's Chaotic Creations or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that worked out because I have. The back seam back here is going to match up with this. So if this area is all flubbed up, I'll figure out something to cover it all up. So I got it on there. Yay, me! Yay! <laughs> okay. So um, I think when Brenda said she did, when she mixed her her glue stuff. Now, I only have a, a sponge brush. So um, I just have to go with it okay i want to make sure i burnish this really good okay come on there we go okay start here and y'all i don't pick out just any dragon it has to be just right so yeah i was down that rabbit hole of etsy for quite some time <laughs> yeah I, I get that that's why i don't go there I go, I go there to, to, you know, to look at one thing and I end up looking at another thing. And so, yeah. Oh, this is much better. Okay. So much easier than holding tape. <laughs> I wish I had my, I don't have my burn it, my, my roller. Okay. Now, now with good. the, with all this glitter, uh, I was debating on just like sanding while here or going outside and sanding ahead of time. It's like, I really didn't want to sand in my studio, but uh, I'm glad I went outside and did yeah. it ahead of time. But um, the chunky glitters, 
will have a tendency to stand up on edge a little bit, so you'll get some texture. Um, right. So expect to have to sand it a little bit just to get it smooth. And then the next coat of uh, resin after you do that should get it all nice and silky. Okay, so um, Cheryl brought this to my attention. Yes, ma'am. She said Evelyn has a, a, another great idea. So I scrolled up to Miss Evelyn and she said, wet method, 12 ounce spray bottle, add one drop of dish soap and give it a good shake to mix. Then spray to clean wet, spray to clean wet tumbler. Smooth out any excess soapy water until it comes out no more. Then let it, let it sit for a short while to let the water evaporate before removing the tape. Uh, oh, so like, oh, I get it. So like the, how you put it on a vehicle and stuff. The, the, um, the transfer tape. That's what she's talking about. I didn't use any transfer tape because I'm me. <laughs> and I couldn't find and and to be honest, I couldn't find my transfer tape. <laughs> so I'm like, eh, we'll just do it this way. We'll just yeah. go balls to the wall like I normally do. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I like how that works. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, so I have got Tish, you need to look. I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking. Oh my gosh. Oh hey. my gosh! Okay, thanks. are you you're gonna take you're gonna take that off? Um, yeah, I'm gonna spray it down with white and then take off <gasps> this. Oh, so it'll be a reverse of that. So the, it'll be mm -hmm. blue dragons on a white tumbler. Oh, mm -hmm. see how you are sneaky. Well, I thought the high contrast area should be the the really cool like little designs and such. So right. and, and actually the white it works out pretty well too. So. Here, guys, if you guys need to have an actual visual, I need, some people have to see it exactly how it's going to be. So if you want to have glitter in the background and a white on that, that's that's how it looks. But we're going to be doing reverse of that. So I'm about to go outside in just a moment and go spray the bajinkers out of this. Okay. And then you're going to blow it dry or what? Are you going to just wait? Are you, I would wait till it's... You gotta wait fifteen minutes at least, don't you? I don't know. You're yeah, in Texas. I, I'm, warm there. It, it it is a little bit warm, but um, I'm gonna spray, give it a coat, and then hang it up, and then I'm gonna start working on alcohol ink on this one while it's drying, and then I may have to give it a second coat, but yeah, we'll have to figure that out. I will be back. Okay. Okay, Tish, be entertaining. Be entertaining. Okay, so entertaining. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, so I don't know what that other glue is like, but this stuff's really thick. So I, and I remember Brenda saying that she mixed it 70% uh, glue and 30% water, but I'm going to go for 50 50. And if I need to, Next time I'll, 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 I'll go back up to there because this stuff is really thick, like gloopy thick. So, oh, bye Brenda. I'm, you're probably already gone, but, um, I'm going to try and get most of it out of here. And then I'm going to just, <laughs> okay, so I'm not in the house anymore. <laughs> So my running water is a spray bottle. <laughs> so as long as I can find my said spray bottle, there it is. I knew I grabbed it. See, I've got my, I call it my power washer. <laughs> so I'm just going to squirt some water in there. Kind of. Okay. So... Do you guys, let me know in the chat if you guys are liking these Tumblr videos and, and, and I'm going to bring in some more vases and some other like things that I think would go well, substrates that would go well on a Tumblr turner. Um, just because I like to experiment and, and do things that I already know how to do. And there's also this other technique that I learned when I was doing furniture painting 
and upcycling that I want to do on a Tumblr that I haven't been, I haven't seen before, uh, like a Tumblr video. So um, I want to see if it will work on a Tumblr and, or on a vase or something. So it has to do with vinegar of all things. So there you go. <laughs> Oh, uh, where did I get the glue and what type of glue is it? This, I got this glue. Okay, I live in the middle of nowhere now. <laughs> so it's like 45 minute drive to any kind of craft store. Um, half hour, 45 minute drive. This is Aileen Stick It and Restick It. And I got it at Walmart because, you know, Walmart does have this teeny tiny craft section. So I rolled with it. And so this is what I got. It's, it's the same brand as the Tacket over and over again. And I looked on it, um, it says easily removable. So I'm wondering if it's not as sticky as the Tacket stuff, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, like I said, this is just, you know, me experimenting, trying new things um, and, and taking Clara for the ride with me. <laughs> so <laughs> she, she's, she's crazy like me. I is back. Who's crazy Hello. like you? Hello, hello, you. Hey. <laughs> of course, I uh, opened up a new can of spray paint, and the nozzle's like all <laughs> on me. Oh, <laughs> it's like, no. Behave, Pete, behave. <laughs> so, what were you saying? What did I miss? Ha. Um, that I, I just asked if they're liking the Tumblr videos. Oh, okay. And Lynn says she's loving the Tumblr videos. And Evelyn says the glue is not the same. I realize it's not the same. I mean, why would they release the same glue? But I've also seen people use um, other other products. And I have another product, too, that I'm going to try that I know is like Tacket um, over and over again. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do some other things. Um, to bring in some of the other furniture um, supplies, um, people that I know that I've been following for years and years, and I know what their products do, and I trust them. And so I need to wipe that out before it dries, but I'll probably forget, and then I'll have to wash it. So... So I'm just going to do a, a pad with some alcohol inks and uh, just start dabbing it all over the place. Okay. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. I can't find my pads. I don't know what happened to them. Um, that's why I was using a, a cosmetic sponge last night. So Evelyn says that this tacket, the sticky, the stick and re-stick is not the same and test it out. It might work. And that she loves that we are trying tumblers. So. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Oh, this is, this is, you know, this is the kind of consistency that I was thinking the glue is going to originally be. Uh-huh. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any chunks in there. So here I am, a stirring and a stirring. And the the thing is, is if, it, if this doesn't work for the tumblers, it, it's an adhesive and I'll find a use for it. I also have spray adhesives if I needed to, but I don't like spraying them inside the studio right now because I have a heater going because I woke up this morning, it was 30 degrees, but it's a nice, it's about 68 in here. So other than my feet being cold, I'm comfortable, but I, I don't have my shoes on. <laughs> shoes are for chumps. <laughs> I don't like shoes. Now I can't you know, I'm normally barefoot almost all the time, but I have to admit that last big freeze that we got, the uh, yeah. little stone path that I have between the house and the studio, the stones have started breaking up big time. Uh oh. Yeah, so it's like shoes are kind of almost mandatory, you know. We gotta figure out what to do about the stones. It's weird. It's like the breaking like slate does, you know, oh. it breaks off in sheets. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, that is bizarre. Um, so what I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't have, I don't, I don't have any chip brushes. I, when I moved, I gave them all away because I'm like, they're cheap. I'll just buy more. Well, I never bought any more. Oh no. <laughs> so Tish needs to go to Harbor Freight and get more chip brushes because I use chip brushes all the time uh -huh. for stuff. And I oh, love them. Great. 
I've also got a big old stash of uh, foam brushes too. And see, that's the other thing I gave away. I have like six foam brushes, and I normally have like sixty. Okay, hang on. Uh oh. Okay. Contemplating for the last like minute. It was like, okay, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> uh oh, I don't think I sealed it very well. Uh oh, what happened? Oh well. Well, oh, the, the color, uh, either that or the, this isn't a clean brush. It, it, I'm getting, it's turning yellow. <laughs> oh no. It's okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna rock with this, and if it doesn't turn out, I just. I'm not gonna cry about it because you, you. You got it. You. You got this. Yeah. Channel my inner mic. <laughs> so. Let's see. And I know I don't want streaks and lines, and I, I'm pretty good at going back and clearing it out. Just want to make sure I get good coverage. And I'm contaminating my glue, but that's okay. I wish I could turn this a little bit slower. Right. There we go. Okay. I'm getting air bubbles, but that's okay, because I'm going to hit this with a hair dryer. I thought I'd bring in some reds and pinks into the purples. Yes, I said pinks! That's going to be like, dude, really? You're going to do pink? It is mostly purple but okay. the pinks i had a feeling would go a little bit more on the red side. contrast i get it it it'll, well i thought it would warm up the piece too and kind of give it a, a little bit more Ooh, you know what i'm gonna add some yellow ah, give it a little flamey like <sighs> key part of flames if you want it to look hot you just do a little bit of yellow I don't know how to do a little bit of yellow. I don't know how to do a little bit of anything. Okay, I can't help you there. Kind of <laughs> all over the place. Oops. Should I, I probably put way too much ink on this pad, but that's all right. Yeah, I did, because it's not sticking. <laughs> it's not sticking to my thingy. Uh-oh. I do hickey! Stay. Just until I get this done, and then you can fall off. <laughs> Don't you yeah. love how we talk to inanimate objects? <laughs> oh, we all do it. You know that. I know. That's what I, I'm just saying. I talk to inanimate objects all the time. I actually swear at them and call them names. <laughs> Like, Funny. oh, you bleepity bleep bleep bleep. Why the bleepity bleep? Aren't you working the way you bleepity 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 should? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with that. We're just, oh, I didn't want to do that. Right, That's the only there. downfall to being out here. Uh, there's two downfalls to being out here. One, I don't have a bathroom, I have to go inside to go to the bathroom. And that, if I don't plan my bathroom breaks, that can be a little bit dangerous. <laughs> And I don't have a, uh, I don't have a, uh, what I mean, running water. I am so being I really to, good like, here. <laughs> just, just informing you of that. I'm being really good. Okay, that is being a pain in my ass. Okay. All right, get in there. Okay. There we go. We'll see how this works. Okay, fine. Okay, so I am going to turn off my mic unless this isn't too loud. Let me let me know if this is too loud. 
<laughs> oh, they sent that to me back, Doris. They answered me back by breaking or <laughs> doing something like that. Okay, I got all the air bubbles out of here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have the heart to tell Tish that we absolutely can't hear anything. But Okay. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We are joy. I'm going to let it go across the top here a little bit. <laughs> I'm just making sure I got all my edges done. Um, all right. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, I. You're funny. <laughs> Cheryl's hilarious. I love that woman. Um. Anyway, okay, hang on. I can reach it. Oh my gosh, my cord is long enough. You my can cord, reach it. Yeah, my cord is like twenty feet long. I kid you not. It's only oh, not twenty feet. Maybe a little more like like fifteen. The other thing I found, I found my big roll of freezer paper. Yes, bonus. So I love using freezer paper for all kinds of things, including glitter. Yeah, I think I got so, a life a lifetime supply of this stuff. A freezer <laughs> paper? Yeah. Or, oh yeah. Well, yeah, you got that big ass roll, the one that's like ginormous. All right, I think we're good on that. I'm gonna let that dry for a sec. Let's check on my other stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, Cheryl just posted the link for the membership. And I'm just letting you guys know right now that I am going to be doing membership videos um, at least once a week. Um, just until I can get my crap together and figure out how to do things. But on the membership videos... Um, I'll be doing all kinds of stuff. Um, some stuff I'll be doing inside the house, like in the kitchen. So, um, like mush I want to make marshmallows, homemade marshmallows. So, um, that's one of the things that I'm oh, going to be doing. Oh, God. Don't talk food. I haven't had my breakfast yet. I haven't either. And oh. I'm hungry. Oh, Cheryl, I got the big roll, um, when I was at Sam's. And uh, I was using the freezer paper for um, quilting and such because you can, uh, the shiny side, you put face down on fabric and you can iron it and it like temporarily adheres to fabric and you can make like templates and stuff out of it easy. So, you know me, I'm always one for a, like a quickie, easy shortcut and that was screaming at me. So, yep, that technique works real well. But okay. yeah, I have a ton. <laughs> I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have watered the glue down. Okay, I'll be back. Uh oh, there we Oh, 
going to turn this off for a second. I got an idea. Let me get it all on here. Good morning, Janice. Although we're up to no good on this channel right now. <laughs> okay, so this, I don't know if it's just this glitter or if it's the adhesive. Because both products are new to me. So this isn't working the way I want it to. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish covering the cup with this. It's really pretty though. I'll give it that. I'm going to finish covering the cup. And then I'm going to come back in with some iridescent white. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt some more glue in there. And we'll try it again on another cup. But I want to try another product um, before I on a different cup too as well so maybe i'm doing this too hard but what i think i might do because it's i can see the brown i don't know maybe i'll just leave it because i kind of like it where i can see the brown i'm just gonna leave it i'll make sure i get all the spots a few bald spots in here. So it's sticking. It's sticking really well. So I don't, but I don't know if it's the glitter or what. So. Okay, so I'm just going to use my finger and just knock it down. Knock it down a notch. And I'm just barely touching it. I might actually bring in my little burnishing brush. Let's try that. Maybe that'll work better. Oh, Michael's going to love me. I'm going to bring glitter inside. <laughs> yeah, they always like that. So, I've got UV spray on this as well. And okay. now I have to wait for both of them to dry. <laughs> That didn't work. Let's try this again. Okay. See, okay, guys, let me know how loud this is. I think yours is quieter than mine. Yeah, but you changed everything around as far as your senses and stuff, sensories, and well, you know. Audio and all that kind of stuff. Uh, audio, yeah, that audio. I tell you what, I was about ready to cry. I, I actually did cry yesterday trying to figure all that out. I, 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 know. I was so upset. I am not an audio person, and they're talking about buses and and middies, and I'm like, okay, buses are something you ride in. Middies are are <laughs> are crop top half t shirt thingies. <laughs> so you're not talking my language here. Okay, maybe I missed something. What are you rubbing on your cup? Because I'm hoping it's not resin with your bare finger. No, I'm just burnishing the the glitter. Oh, okay. No, I, I haven't even mixed up resin. This one looks pretty. I actually kind of like the, the brown behind it. It'll probably... I'm going to try it again. I'm gonna, I've got some blue spray paint. I'm going to spray paint a cup blue and try to go and see if it's just if it's the glitter or if it's just the glue because I, I i that's the one thing that i was um thinking of doing is i don't know maybe saturday going to 
go into Paducah and I want tamales. <laughs> you bought tamales? No, I want tamales. You want tamales. There's a, Mex there's a Mexican place in Paducah, Kentucky by the mall and they have the best tamales that I've had since I lived in Houston. Oh, really? Yes. All right. So it's holographic y. It's doing its cool. holograph thing. All right. Apparently, the uh, UV is taking its time to. Oh, wait a minute. There's hope. Of course, I went and spray painted this really quickly, and I didn't throw on gloves, so my hands are really nasty right now. Combination of alcohol. My hands are covered in glitter, so. <laughs> alcohol leak, and now uh, well, spray okay, paint got, and UV spray I got, paint. I got alcohol ink underneath my fingernails and all my fingers and from last night, and I've washed my hands probably seven or eight or nine times, you know. Yep. This shit doesn't come out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do another uh, another wood tumbler. And I can't remember. Someone asked me if I did the bottom. I don't think I need to keep this spinning. Hang on, I'm going to now that I got it there. Somebody asked me in, uh, on the comment on the video on our police last night if I did the, the bottom. And I did kind of try and do a little bottom thing on the bottom, but it didn't turn out real well. And, and, you know, that's why I'm doing these. They're practice. So... All right, should, how how long do you think I should wait before I take the before I take the vinyl off? If it's, I would say if it's okay for you to touch it with your fingers and it's like feeling like it's like a hard shell and not you know leaving impressions, I, I, you could probably pick at it, but just be careful. Yeah, I don't want to leave it on there too long because I don't want it to pull off like the other like the top did. Yeah. So, Mine is not that vulnerable because I got the resin on there, so I get it. Yeah, I know. I should have done, and I will do that on the next one. I'll do resin on it. So I had a thought. You know, I did the uh, white spray paint on this. I could easily do alcohol ink in just some areas of this, too, before I peeled it up. So that's always a possibility. Right. But I wouldn't do complex designs because we got the glitter bonanza underneath. Hmm. But I okay. think I might cheat. Uh oh. A little bit. No, I think it was glitter or something like that. It had a, a spot where it had like a little cave and I left a couple dots. Uh -oh. And I bet if I touched it with like white alcohol ink, I bet that would do fine. Well, the paint just lifted on this one too. Crap. It's just totally, look, it's just totally lifting. No. Fire truck. Fire truck. All right, let's see if we can do this without putting it down. Okay, I want to just see if it's going to work, y'all. Jeez. Nope, it just lifted the whole damn thing. All right, I'm going to peel mine. <laughs> see? It just lifted it all up. I want to cry. <laughs> all right, that's fine. I got. I. I will make it. I will. I will make this work. So the moral of the story is resin it first. Is that what you're saying? Resin it first on plastic. I don't know about metal. I haven't worked with metal. So there you go. There you oh, are. Um, it's still so sparkly. I it's got it off. Of, I got it off of Etsy. I can send you the link if you want. Uh, she's asking me about the little stand that is holding my cups. I made mine. You want to see it? Yeah. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to go full screen because it's a big papa. Hang on. I got to push the right button here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got to go in the other room too because it's in the other room. Hang on. And say hello to Scout because he's out there barking. <laughs> Hi, Scout. I had a horse named Scout. Yeah. Well, it's looking really cool underneath. Ooh. 
Oh, she put the screen full screen. <laughs> what was that? I was showing how it was looking cool underneath. It's like, no, you're hogging the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is my drawing rack. See? I have six. Oh. I'm waiting for it to come on the computer. Whoa! There you do. And I these are four arms that are ready to have footballs or foam or something put on them. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have different sizes and stuff. Okay, now here, I won't hog the screen anymore. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta sneeze. Wait, Bless I gotta... you. Okay, this is fun peeling up the stuff. <laughs> okay. You can see a little bit of glitter coming through. It's working on it. So literally when this live is done, I am going to put these guys up, let them finish drying. And that way I can put the tumbler down and peel it a little bit more aggressively. But I'm being delicate right now. You delicate? Hush. <laughs> <laughs> I did do something on the bottom here because I stuck one of my stickers on there. And I was like, well, how am I going to do this with peekaboo? Well, I did my latex thing, and I wonder if it worked. So we're going to have to find that out. Oh, okay. okay great. That's going to be okay. fun to come up. See, I'm trying to be all careful and not waste glitter, even though it's not the best glitter. It's just Walmart glitter. Which, okay. you know, they have quality stuff. I'm, 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 not, dissing, I'm not dissing them. Not really. All right, so liquid latex also comes up with spray paint. It's just a little bit more pain in the ass. Ugh, you got to put some muscle into it. Well, I'm disappointed. I'm sad. I'm I'm done for today because I'm frustrated. <laughs> <sighs> you know what I'm gonna do after you know we're what? done here? I've got some. I've got some uh, spray adhesive. I'm going to spray adhesive of this because I don't want to brush anything on here. Hmm. But I'm going to do some spray adhesive. It's a repositionable <laughs> type stuff. It's, and I'm going to spray adhesive of it. And then I'm just going to do the whole cup over again with this and see. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. But I have to do that outside. And um, I, I believe don't even, in I, I just. I, I I probably won't even do it today. I'll probably do it tomorrow because <laughs> I'm just done. I did fix my tumbler though. I am happy with that. I think I fixed the the arm, so it's not all janky. <laughs> Lynn, I will not be peeling for a couple of days. She says. <laughs> I was just gonna say we'll be back in a couple of days to find Claire still peeling. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn's a troublemaker. I see you. You can use that in a to remove paint anywhere you want down to the glitter. All right. Let's see if we can get this off the UV one. Then use alcohol to shine it up. I will have to keep that in, in mind. I don't want to use acetone on these cups because they're plastic and it'll eat away at the plastic. So these both are just, this is one from Walmart that I got for a dollar. And this is one that I got at the dollar store where I got two for a dollar. So I'm, this is just me playing. It's just, you know, if they turn out cool, then I'll just give them away to people. Um, if they turn out kind of cool, but still kind of crappy, I'll use them as cups to hold like pens and markers and whatnots um, in, in them. You know, I, I, I can always use more cups. Ew, so. ew, 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 I just peeled up some from the alcohol ink one. <laughs> I'm doing this again. Check that out. Uh -oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Doesn't that look cool? Yes. Okay, squeal. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yay. Okay. Mine was an utter failure and yours is epic. How come that? How how is that? I go live with you and you make epic things. I go live with Brooke and you make a, she makes epic things and mine. Yeah, <laughs> you make epic things all the time. Hush. Do you uh, do fine? <laughs> you do just fine. 
That looks so cool. I love this. This is that fire and ice glitter. I absolutely adore this stuff. You just never know what it's going to do, and it always surprises me. In good Where did ways. you get that? That's one of the color obsession glitters. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I, ATD? Yeah, ATD. Um, and what I do is I just have that as, like, uh, my main feature glitter and then just fill it with all the bunch of inexpensive glitters. Right. You know, the fine glitters and all that. That's kind of how I right. <laughs> justify that. It's like I pick a feature glitter and then go from there. Well, yeah, and, and, oh and my you know, God. here's the thing. Here's the thing. I love this purple glitter from Walmart. It's uh -huh. a, it's a, it was a blend. And then I mixed it with other glitters that were um, less expensive. Because um, the purple glitter, the mix was a little bit more expensive than... But here's the other thing I don't, I, I don't, I don't like about buying my glitter at Walmart. I, I don't think I have a full two ounces in there. Because it's just like, it looks like it's half full. Mm -hmm. So, and they're not foil sealed, so you don't know. You know? Is it like potato chips and they settle? I don't know. <laughs> that's you know that's always so disturbing when you buy a bag of potato chips and it's like half a bag. And it's like, what the blue? Well, the reason why the potato chips have the air in them is so in shipping, um, they, they don't get, get crushed. smashed. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, it, but it's still a point of, of disconcern because, yeah. So, all right. I'm going to let you continue peeling. <laughs> and we're going to sign off for tonight. We're going to wrap this baby up because we're looking at a little over an hour already. <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't even feel like it. We've been here for an hour. I mean, it does for me because my stuff didn't work. <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked. I learned. You know what's the thing is? Is is this is not a fail because I learned. I learned something. Hey, didn't my uh my my uh tattoo thing like completely fail on me when I <laughs> no. put it on? I had to take it off. You know, I had to get another one. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Now, well, now you we're. Feel better? I feel better. So, but here's the thing. Okay, so when you're working with plastic, sand it actually kind of rough. <laughs> I didn't want to sand it too rough because I was afraid that the texture would come through. Uh -huh. So, um, and I used the good Rust-Oleum spray paint on these, so it, it should have adhered. But yes, I need to rough them up a little bit more. Not use like I used like I think it was a 320 sandpaper. I'll probably even go up to a. a uh, like a, a 150 sandpaper and rough these up really good and um and then put two coats of spray paint on there as a primer and then um do the alcohol ink put a thing put a, a coat of resin on there and then come back and do the glitter so i actually am curious how easy this stuff is going to chip off i'm using my fingernail and it's just coming right off the the reason why i'm i'm concerned and i'll just maybe um play around with this one later and just start over with a different cup um but i i do like this the holographic glitter the holographic stuff on here so i might um just you know pr spray paint another one um blue prime it spray paint it blue um and then put the glitter on there and just play with it that way. So, um, but I'm gonna actually finish up my 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 uh, studio today, hopefully, and or I'll not finish it. I don't think I'll ever finish it. It's always gonna be a work in progress. Yeah. But <laughs> I'll put it better. And then um, this weekend, Michael and I will work on audio and getting the audio right. But um, be sure to join us next week. Clara and I will will be doing something else with tumblers. I can't remember what we talked about. Still I have it on the schedule. I have it on the schedule, but the clipboard's over by the computer. So um, I'll be setting up those lives on Sunday or Saturday. Probably Saturday because I, I want to. I don't know if we actually set it up. I don't no, know. I know, we did, I, I know we did four four video plans. So I don't think we did past that. <laughs> You know, I don't think so either because it's April 1st today. It's April mm -hmm. Fool's Day. That's why this didn't work because it's April Fool's Day. See? 
<laughs> oh, and uh, it's happy birthday to my friend Eric Johnson. He was born on April Fool's Day. And happy and birthday. So <laughs> He's a goofball. I love him. I haven't seen him in like 15 years, but I still love him. Cute. There you go. <laughs> but tomorrow night is Friday Night Flip Cup. I will have my pal Brooke and you guys will see hang on i can do this now because i have a mouse over here this is the color palette that we're using for for the clip so i gotta mix some paints tonight <laughs> um actually Press. i think i have most of those zoe is that zoe that's yeah. zoe zoe silly zoe all right um, thank you all for joining us today. I appreciate you. Um, members, if you are at the $14.99 or up, I will be going live sometime this weekend, probably Saturday, because Sunday is Easter. So um, I don't know. It's going to be just Michael and I. So maybe I will go live on, on, on Sunday afternoon, evening. Jeff, I, don't Jeff, know. I so. see you. Jeff says, tune in next week to see Clara finish feeling. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> oh we have fun <laughs> yes. and she will be done peeling and it'll be another coat of resin and something probably added to it because she's awesome like that she likes to do those fine details so thank you so much you guys have a great day remember be kind to one another peace love and happiness later y'all thanks for hanging out <laughs>